So hi everyone and welcome to today's yoga today. We are starting with week 36 of our prenatal yoga challenge and we will start uh, to stand at the center of the mat with feet together, spine extended, shoulders straight, chin up, chest out and hands in front of us in prayer. We we'll begin with the relaxing of the breath trying to focus more towards the loosening of the body muscles and stay here for five breaths or more and with each exhalation relax the body feel the body free it and free the body and the mind of stress And then begin to work with the upper body that includes arms, shoulders, chest and neck. And from here move the torso in a full twist, turning towards the left as you inhale. And then release and come back to center and inhale, turn towards the right side, exhale completely stay here for three breaths and then come back to center stretch your arms above the head as you inhale stay in this posture deepening the stretch as you exhale focus and stay for three breaths And then relax and as your arms are above your head inhale and take the interlocked palms and upper body towards the left side stretching slowly and then back to center towards the right side ensure not to overstretch here and then come back to center And then inhale take the arms behind you and interlock the fingers stretching the shoulders and elbows inhale again and exhale slowly this pose will reduce stress around the neck and the shoulders and also open the chest and diaphragm to bring in more oxygen and then relax and then inhale place the palms over the hips close to the lower back while bending the elbows and push the lower back stay here for a few breaths And then relax and release and then we'll begin to make standing pelvic floor circles moving clockwise three times and in the other direction also three times this is also a great way to open the tightness around the hips the lower back and around the upper hamstrings and then arms above your head and slowly exhaling bend the knee and come into chair pose if raising the hands above cause uneasiness or imbalance in the body then you could bring the hand near the chest in Namaste and then slowly release take support from a partner or a wall 
Inhale, use your hands and raise the right leg and place the right foot on the inside of the le left thigh while bending the right knee. Maintain balance here using support if necessary. As you see, I'm close to the wall and stay here for three breaths. Then release and repeat with the other leg. The practice of this pose gives a sense of confidence and balance. So maintain the balance here while focusing on breathing. And then relax and release. You can take two blocks or without any blocks and stand to bring the feet at hip distance apart. Inhale, bend the torso forward, taking the tailbone out first, then the tummy, the chest, while coming parallel to the floor. Exhale and place the hands on the yoga block, extending the arms. So you can use anything that you have at home. So that you're parallel to the floor. And then relax, hands in front of you in prayer, chest up. And here, using a block for support and a wall, we will come to our warrior two poles against the wall. And you can put your foot over a block. So that is more comfortable, one hand on the wall and one hand straight in the other direction. And using a wall for support helps us in this gentle stretch. And then release. And then we will move the half moon pose also on the wall. You can turn the block, block around. One hand comes on the block again. Stretch your foot, stretch your arms. Look up. And then release hands in front of you in prayer. And then Place the left hand on the wall, inhale, raise the right leg, bending backwards and fold the right foot in your hand. Then come back to center and we will repeat it on the other side. release and then we will do our warrior two pose on the other side also so one hand on the wall one foot on the block stretch your arms walk up or in front of you And then release, move the block and then stretch your arms, stretch your leg and look up if it's comfortable. You can also use a wall for support. And then relax and release. 
And from here, turn around and face the wall, keeping a decent distance from the wall. And then inhale, slowly stretch the spine upwards. Exhale to go forward with the torso, taking the support of the wall with the palms on the wall. Try to bring the arms and the torso almost parallel to the floor. Make sure your breathing is smooth and slow. If you want for better comfort, you can hold the belly below uh, with one hand that will help you connect with the baby. then from here we will come down to our knees continuing the place to place the hands on the wall and then release and come to sit on the mat facing the wall so you can use a block behind you so one hand comes on the block and one on the wall and this side stretch and gently move your torso and continue with the breathing. And then hands on the wall. Relax your head here, relax your arms. And then release and again one hand on the block and the other on the wall in this gentle twist And then ending this sequence, we will relax the body while placing the body close to the wall. Inhale and bring the feet up on the wall, bending the knees and resting the entire back on the floor. Place the arms close to you or on your belly and remain here for a couple of minutes. Allow the breath to be even. Same inhale as exhale. And then with both legs extended towards the wall, hold this pose for a couple of minutes and relax the entire body.
And then from here move your knees from side to side and when you're ready come from one side back to a seated position relax your hands and then hands in front of you in prayer namaste and thank you for being with me today